All right. Time to go kick Wheatley's ass. Yeah, given the choice between him and GLaDOS, I guess he's the lesser of two evils. Okay. Away we go. not connected to Cave Johnson's mainframe, so you're not a total bitch anymore. Wheatley, on the other hand... Really? Need a loading screen after that? Eating spaghetti for lunch. Mmm. Where am I going? Way the fuck up there. Whoa! Missed. Okay. Corrupted cores. We're in luck. You find a way to stun him, I'll send you a core, and then you attach it to him. If we do it a few times, he might become corrupt enough for another core transfer. Well, you know we're gonna have some dialogue from these guys. green one, we got the pink one, and we got the spastic yellow one. These don't look like... Uh, I guess they're just inactive. Okay! On to the lair. We got the blue gel, we got bombs, we got orange gel, and white gel. So... Repulsion gel... Accelerant gel, conversion gel, and bomb. So we know what to expect here. Put me in and I'll take you up. Look, even if you think we're still enemies, we're enemies with a common interest. Revenge. You like revenge, right? Everybody likes revenge. Well, let's go get some. Well, well, well. Welcome to my let me just flag something up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the big, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal services. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, four, and throwing it. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good luck. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Where are you going? Don't run! Don't run! I'll tell you what you should run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you have. It's bloody clever. Seriously, it's seven. Go! 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 Ha! That sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Just dead. I wanted you to trick me into bursting that pipe. Didn't trick me, didn't trick me, seemingly trick me, to give you... Ah! Okie dokie.
Luigi. Warning. Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four minutes. Uh, what, what happened? What happened? What, 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 Situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful woman. If you don't mind me saying. I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure sphere. Designed for danger. Why don't you go ahead and have yourself a little lady break and I'll just take it from here. Here, stand behind me. Yeah, just like that. Just like you're doing. Things are about to get real messy. Going for it yourself, huh? All right, Angel. I'll do what I can to cover you. Doesn't bother you. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores. Preemption. You don't listen, do you? Quiet. Ah! Where the fuck is it? Aha! Dreams are the subconscious mind's way of reminding people to build a school naked and have their teeth blown. The automobile brake was not invented until 1895. Before this, someone had to remain in the car at all times, driving in circles until passengers returned from their errands. You are about to get me killed. <laughs> Edmund Hillary, the first person to climb Mount Everest, did so accidentally while chasing a bird. William Shakespeare did not exist. <laughs> Core corruption at 100%. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate Resolution Associate, please press the Stalemate Resolution button. Go press the button. Go press Do not press that button. Go press the button. No! Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Press it! Press the button! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! Press it! my booby trap the Stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You, you clever little fuck. You have got to be kidding me. Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this. It's place. still supposed to be raining. Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? While people were trying to work. Yeah, well, now we're all gonna pay the price, because we're all gonna blood. Suck it. Moon rocks, bitch! I put a blue portal there. Ah, ah, space! Ah, ah. <laughs> let go! We're in space! Ah, let go! Let go! I'm still connected! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah, grab me! Grab me! Hi, Wheatley. Hello, GLaDOS. Well, she certainly didn't waste her time fixing everything. Hello. Oh, thank God, you're all right. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy. 
when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. Yep. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my day oh, used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up. You dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. Well, there we go! Finally escaped! <laughs> Told you! Music appreciation is very important. And just to further prove my theory, as soon as GLaDOS gets put back in the mainframe, she goes right back to being a total bitch. Hey, it's Chubby! Get to hear you sing? Animal King Turret. You can see she's still got quite a bit of stuff to fix. Parking lot's gone. Plenty of wheat, that's good. Yay! Now we have absolutely no reason to go back. the fat jokes. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see Chell in Goodbye, Portal 3. Friend. Oh, did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Because we all know how much Valve hates well, trilogies. Replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. 
I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And... I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. See, as soon as he gets disconnected from the mainframe, he's not a prick anymore. Go figure. <clears throat> Go figure. The second thing is, there's no fucking air in space, so you wouldn't be able to hear a fucking thing unless those were radio transmissions. But, fuck, awesome game. Like I said, I don't think we're going to see Portal 3 because, you know, everyone's still waiting on Half-Life 3 and I think I think we've all given up on that. I never played any of the Half-Life games. I'm not sure what everyone's so fangasmic about with that game. Maybe I should give it a try sometime. I certainly like the Portal series. Hmm. Oh, hell. Let's, let's look at some of the extra shit. Ooh, let's watch all the videos. Oh, wait. No, oh, fuck the Super 8 commercial. You saw that movie, it sucked. The Portal 2 comic, that's what uh, explains... That explains the... basically bridges the gap between Portal 1 and Portal 2. And explains who made all those crazy drawings. Cave Johnson here. Every time I look at our test chamber production line, I am reminded of my father. Now, he wasn't a scientist, just a simple farmer, a professor of farming at the local farm college. Never farmed a day in his life, but his theories on farming are the backbone of this company. Do it from scratch, spare no expense, and never cut corners. Well, that's a corner-cutting machine. We obviously cut from there. <laughs> Point is, we've always done things the way my father did. And his father before him, and his father before him, and his father before him. And we are almost bankrupt. So, time for a cheaper approach. Allow me to introduce the multiverse. Infinite Earth with an infinite number of apertures. And as of now, like they the donut take planet. over all test chamber construction. And more importantly, all paying for test chamber construction. Why are they agreeing to do that? They're not. We're tricking them. Here's how it works. One, design a test. Two, slip the mole monsters or what have you, the blueprint when they're not looking. Three, once they build it, steal it back. Look at that sad little octopus. <laughs> That's where you come in. We need blueprints. We are about to run the greatest con game in the history of the multiverse, and you are the bottleneck. <laughs> yes, you. Get back to work. <laughs> Brilliant business practice, assuming you've got the portals to access the multiverse. Peabody, that was the name of the other one I couldn't These remember. These next tests require cooperation. Consequently, they have never been solved by a human. That's where you come in. You don't know pride. You don't know fear. You don't know anything. You'll be perfect. <laughs> yeah, the co-op bit of this game is way harder. Test chamber completed. Continue testing. Continue testing. Yeah. 
Continue that was, testing. That was another fun part of the co-op thing was gestures they give you. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership. Now it's time for your real purpose. Don't disappoint me. Or I'll make you wish you could die. <laughs> oh. Yeah, me and Megzi had a lot of fun with that. Oh, the teaser video? Yeah, why not? It's been a long time. Yes. How have you been? Nine, 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 nine. I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. <laughs> What's next? I want more of those Cave Johnson videos. Ah, there we go. Cave Johnson here. Fact. The key to any successful cooperative test is trust. And as our data clearly shows, humans cannot be trusted. <laughs> the solution? Robots. Then fire the guys who made those robots and build better robots. Then run those robots through a regimen of trust exercises, creating a foundation of mutual respect, reinforced by the simulated bonds of artificial friendship. <laughs> Firing stuff. And finally, we put that trust to the test. Bam! Robots gave us six extra seconds of cooperation. Good job, robots. Dave <laughs> Johnson, we're done here. Six extra seconds. Totally worth the millions of dollars that went into building those robots. Cave Johnson here. This is a test chamber. Four walls, ceiling, and a floor. Good enough for science. Not aperture science. Gentlemen, I give you panels. The planks of tomorrow. Fully configurable. Infinitely variable. Safe. <laughs> Aperture brand panels will assist your test subjects every step of the way. That is not a panel. That's a crusher. We sell them too. <laughs> Thinkwithportals.com. Cave Johnson here, introducing the consumer version of our most popular military grade product. Hi, hello. The turret. How do we get so many bullets in them? Like this. Plus, we fire the whole bullet. That's 65% more bullet per bullet. This is the same technology we've been using on robots for decades. <laughs> Scares the hell out of them. They come in hundreds of designer colors, including forest, desert, Different. table, uh, evening at the improv. What idiot picked these? <laughs> then we box them up and ship them straight to your doorstep. So you can protect the things that matter most. Good night. Just try and get close to that baby. <laughs> Your funeral. Okay, Johnson, we're done here. Holy shit. I think I'd keep that thing out in the driveway. Oh, this is a good one. Hello, investors. Cave Johnson here. Now, I know you've sunk a lot of money into the dual portal device, but I'm here to tell you we're not banging rocks together over here. We know how to make a quantum space hole. Carolyn? See? Portal here, portal there. <laughs> Look at this thing go. Now, we have run into a reproducible human error problem. A lot of expensive equipment getting broken. But don't worry, Cave took care of it. Gentlemen, I give you the long fall boot. Think of it as a foot-based suit of armor for the portal device. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's expensive as hell. 
But check this out. We told this test subject to just go ahead and try to land on her head. <laughs> she can't do it. Good work, Boots. So anyway, we're between <laughs> banks right now. Just make those checks out to cash. Cave Johnson, we're done here. Make those checks out to cash? <laughs> Eh, I don't need to go through the Portal 2 comic. It's a bit too long. And I sure as hell I'm not going to watch that. And that's just all the uh, costume options for the co-op characters. So yeah, that's it. That's Portal 2. Fucking love it. It's always nice to come back and play this game. More puzzle... Something nice to, to focus on puzzles rather than having to kill your way through an army of fucking zombies and werewolves now and then. <sighs> well, I certainly had fun. This is nice and relaxing. And maybe some, at some point down the line I'll find someone who can do a co-op LP with. I don't know, maybe it'll be Megzy again. Maybe someone else. We'll see. And I will see you next time. Bye bye Oh, Wheatley. You know, they could have a part three if he, like, fell to Earth or something. <clears throat> Those things aren't supposed to be pretty tough, after all. Anyway, later.